Good evening, pot pickers. Just on the way to the Pipe Club, the Pipe Club of London, at JJ Fox's. Just crossed over Oxford Street and driving in New Bond Street. So we're not too far away from St. James's. A lot of shenanigans going on in the uh, British government at the moment. Interesting times. Let's see what transpires. It's all over the news. And um, I don't know if you guys have seen it on the uh, news at all. There was a historic flyby down the Mall um, over Buckingham Palace today of a hundred different aeroplanes of, or sorry, I should say aircraft of one type or another by the RAF to commemorate a hundred years of the RAF. I haven't seen it yet, but I really, I'm hoping I'm going to get to see a recording of it at some point. Um, my son was in the area, he recorded a lot of them going overhead, but still when you're filming overhead, you're seeing most of it in silhouette. So I'm hoping I get to see a decent video of it. me tonight a few of my pipes um, to show to some of the more experienced uh, pipers. I brought with me the uh, the uh, Hackett pipe, the limited edition from 2001, the Carlton Hacker rather, not Hackett, Carlton Hacker uh, pipe. <clears throat> I want to show that to uh, Bernard in particular. <clears throat> um, I also brought with the Eric Stokeby pipe which I got from Danny Shaw. Um, so I don't know much about them. And I also brought the uh, Amarelli pipe, and I want to get his opinion on the crack, which I think is a crack, but it's it's uh, really very slight. But it does worry me that it could just crack right from one end to the other. Um, I've got a mixed response on the video about it, um, but um, we'll see. We'll see what he says. Other than that, just looking forward to uh, seeing uh, familiar faces and perhaps there'll be a few new faces. And um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Perhaps I'll take some footage, perhaps not. We'll see what happens. So I will catch you all soon. And um, yeah, see you soon. Thought I'd just let you see some of the really historic uh, architecture. We've got Burlington Gardens coming up. This uh, picket shop here. There's uh, custom leather goods, which I think that's a very old shop. We've got the Royal Academy of Arts on the left. Burlington Arcade on the left. It used to be, um, I think there used to be a, uh, I think there used to be a tobacconist there. Tiffany's, right opposite. And now we're in Old Bond Street. We've got Prada on the left, and road closed. Gucci here on the corner, they must have something going on. We've got a whole queue of people waiting to get in. And the King's Head pub. It's always a busy time on the way to the club, people after work, chilling, having their drinks. <coughs> Albemarle, Albemarle Street, never heard of it. A slightly wrong turn somewhere. Never mind. Right, I better focus. Catch you later. I don't know if it's to do with the fly past today, if there's some kind of military uh, gathering. There's a bloke just walked past 
with um, a chest full of medals. So I'm not quite sure if there is something happening. Um, but I've been driving through this uh, area in town, lots of very smartly dressed people, more so than usual. Just wondering whether there's some event going on which coincides with that um, memorial fly past. See what happens when I turn on to uh, Piccadilly, which is where we're about to go. <coughs> As a group of some kind. Yes, do keep up. there. Um, apparently the Ritz have opened up a new cigar lounge, a smoking lounge, which um, I've yet to try. Um, I'll have to do that at some point and uh, take you guys along. That sounds like it might be quite a nice uh, swish place to enjoy a smoke. Although my, my gut feeling is that it's only for cigars. I doubt if they've got uh, pipes there. But you never know. I guess time will tell. that they've uh, opened it up. I did see it. Where did I see that? It, that? Was it in a magazine somewhere? I can't remember. I think it might have been in, uh, in the aficionado, but I can't remember. Anywho, I shall see you soon. Man, it is busy. Busy, busy, busy. Let's hope we can find somewhere to park, which is always a challenge. That's not a ridge. There's definitely a, a something in the t in the wood there. Wood. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, do mean, what do you mean two splits? Yeah. Well, two different places. Yeah. 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 A sand pit. I'm not worried about. No. But a split I'm worried about. Just underneath the split. Right. The second split. Right. This is the... Um, Some of the Rockwell prizes for today. Three million peas, that's got to be... That's got to be early 90s or something, or even earlier, no? When was it called? It was bought in the top. It's got quite, it's quite blown on the top there. That's next. It was nice. Let's blend them into the different. And then we have some 1999 Corbin Dance. English mix. Some nice prizes this week. If you can get a frequent flyer on it. With all your travel, then you can get a box of cards. Just look at that, that'd be great. I was smoking downstairs. So, there's a dog. Like it's a good one. 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 It's a good
of the the not the not. It's gonna be mine soon. Don't yeah, I see, it's not yours yet. Can't focus. They could. They anyway, so JJ Fox basket pipe, very nice. Understand why it's not done? Uh, Freddy's fair choice. Nice Vulcan pipes there. Yeah. Quite a good selection of stand yeah. That's good. That's a nice blowfish, huh? There are certain things he wants, but I think he plays around the Interesting rectory. Jekyll and Hyde one there. I think that's what it's called. It's Calibre. I can't do much with the price, but I'll give you gifts. Well, Cubs just finished. I'm smoking a Bolivar Bellicoso Fino. 2017, but still very nice despite its youth. I took um, a few of the GQ tobaccos with for people to try, which went down nicely. And uh, I picked up a, another JJ Fox pipe, which hopefully I'll convert, unless I stick it in a sale again. We'll see. Nice blast on it. Very nice. Nice and craggy. Nice. Quite a narrow ish bowl, probably about a 19 mil, something like that. Um, and it's got a, a decent enough girth for conversion, which is cool. Um, and interestingly, the guy at the front desk, can't remember his name now, but. Uh, He's familiar with my channel and he asked me about the filters and he showed me some filters which he started using and uh, it's something which uh, I'm going to try. So you know the Dr. Grabo filters which are probably 6mm something like that, 5 or 6mm or 4mm, I'm not sure. Cigar's gone out. The Dr. Grabo, the long filter uh, paper ones that you put in Missouri Meerschaums, that kind of thing, in the corn cobs. This is even thinner. This is going to be about three mil. It's really, really thin, and it's paper and it's hollow. Um, it's just a tube of paper. That's all it is. Let me if you can catch that. Got it head on or not? Anyway, it's it's hollow. It's just a. It, there's no actual mechanical filtration. All it does is it, the paper absorbs. It absorbs the moisture. So. I don't know if it'll be enough for me in terms of Virginias, but I'm gonna try it and see if I can get that into regular pipes without um, without having to convert them and see if that works for me. Because that would be awesome. Because that would bring back a lot of pipes into my rotation. I would probably have to cut it. It's only paper, so that'll cut very easily. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. We'll give that a try and uh, 
you'll be seeing more about that on the channel. Um, what else? I showed the Amarelli pipe to a few people, as you saw earlier on in the clips. Um, and initially, the verdict was that it's just um, the way the grain, it's just a ridge in the grain. But somebody brought out a loop, a jewellery uh, a jewelry loop. And we had a closer look at it, and the verdict is that it is in fact two cracks. Which looks like a long crack going along the heel is actually one, and then another one starting just below it and continuing along. So I think that on balance, I'm probably going to end up sending it back. I really didn't want to have to do that because I just felt bad. They've already replaced it once and it, it, I really didn't want to, if it didn't merit it, I didn't want to send it back. If it was just cosmetic, I wasn't going to send it back. But if, if it is a crack, I just don't want to risk it. I don't see why I should have to, to be honest. Um, so it's a bit surprising. Amarelli is a really uh, respected, well-regarded uh, uh, pipe carver. So it's, it's, it's surprising. Anyway, I'm going to set off and then so we can see, I'm going to turn the camera around and carry on. Noise from the aeroplanes would have been deafening around here. The mall is just around the corner. The mall, the mall, whatever you want to call it. Some really good prizes today on offer. I missed the raffle because I was busy downstairs getting the uh, the pipe and the cigar. But um, I did a small clip earlier on. Hopefully, it came out and it's in. You'll have seen it already. But that GLP's tin that was before it's called GLP's that looked really interesting. That would have been cool to. Uh, Try that, but Alethea won that, and hopefully, when she does get to crack the tin eventually, I might get a little sniff at it. quite like central London is there it's like Times Square but with character just kidding. Ooh, bit sunny there. It's Bolivar by Fino. I remember when I first started smoking a cigar, I stayed away from the Bolivars. I was intimidated by them. They had a reputation for being, number one, for being strong, and number two, for having a really uh, stout. There's something going on in Tommy Hill figures. I don't know what, but something. So the Bolivars, they had a reputation for being pretty strong, 
but also having a, a bit of a weird taste. Um, so I didn't smoke them for quite some time. Um, and I started, my first one I had was also a Bellicoso Fino. Since then I've had some of the limited edition ones, I think from 2014. And they're very tasty. Um, they, they definitely are better with age. This particular one is 2017, so you do get quite a distinct metallic flavor, if you want to call it metallic. Um, it's just a, you know, if, if you haven't tried one, I certainly wouldn't hold back from trying one if, if uh, you're used to cigars. I don't think you'll have any problem with it. It's just a little bit more savory. Um, but with age, it will probably get a little bit more tangy and a little bit sweeter. Um, but I've had some really fantastic Bellicoso Finos. This particular one is okay. It's just okay. Families have got a sale. All the sales are just around the corner. Um, around August time. I've just remembered, I actually did a video. I'm not sure if I've uploaded it, I don't think I have. But I have edited it. Edited it. Um, when I uh, spent the day out with my wife in town, we walked around all of these areas here. We ended up, despite the fact that my wife has no interest in, in tobacconists, uh, but we ended up visiting uh, all the, the, the shops on St. James's. We popped into JJ Fox's and we popped into Dunhill. Um, so um, I'll have to try and remember to upload that. I don't know why I didn't upload it. But that's a nice video. Lots of stuff going on, lots of street acts and things like that. Cigar keeps going out. That's the youth showing through. There is a fair bit of tooth on this uh, cigar, so a little bit more age, it'll be a nice uh, cigar, this vintage from 2017. jaunt. It's been a very pleasant evening. I hope you've enjoyed a few clips. I didn't take that much in the way of clips at the, the club itself, um, but um, I hope you've enjoyed it nonetheless, and I will catch you on the next one.